Yo, yo, what's up, what's up, mini bike riders? So you want to know how to make your mini bike reliable, huh? Well, you came to the wrong place. <laughs> we're going to get my speaker so I could pound. So yeah, we're going to go. I got to do my oil change. Oil change. And just, you know, I had a long ride out, so I got to maintenance it. So I can also show you riders how to... The how to make your mini bike reliable. Yeah, let's get to the ranch. So pretty much the little things how I make my mini bike reliable. It's uh I'm gonna loosen this up right there. And that's where the oil comes out. Let me just get my oil pan. If you if you have that messed up, you can also uh drain it from this plug right here. There's one on the other side if you have the 212. But I like to do it from here. I feel like it just comes out more better and I have it like that so you don't need to have it like this, but that's just how I like to do it. Mm -hmm. All right, for the oil is the 10 millimeter, like always, you know, this baby's for the mechanic. Yeah, now I gotta just loosen it up with the hand. And you should see pure gold come out of there. Well, now it's like freaking charcoal, I don't know. But I, I use 1030, I could, sometimes 1040, depending what I got in the garage. Yeah, that was a must. Yeah, you, you guys gotta change your oil, riders, change your oil. I had to do it before the last ride out, but like I said, I didn't plan that on last ride out. So out here, let me open one of the top things. Just the little tips, you know? It just helps the oil flow better. Hopefully none of this pours. I should have opened it on the other side. It's all good, but yeah. So let me do the oil change real quick guys. Let this pour out. Let me jam out to some music. And yeah, let me know if this is helping out. And right now we're gonna grease up the clutch. Oh shit, something came out. I overfill my baby cause, cause yeah. I mean, if, if you got extra, if you got extra, it's just gonna push it out through here. Ooh, baby, that was a bust. All right, so I drained all the oil already. I, I tied up the bottom one like super tight, like good tight. Like don't break it, but obviously you know this thing's shaking, so give it a nice snug in there, you know. And then this one, uh, well this is where I'm gonna put the. I I'm gonna use 1030 right now. I I normally have used uh, 1040. It's a little more expensive, but 1040, 1030, you know. But yeah, this everything was good on the bike except for. I lost some screws on, under my seat. I forgot to, I get. I want to say I forgot to put them when I was putting the battery. Well, I forgot to tie them up, but that's my fault. And then this screw or not, uh, that holds up the brake. Can you see? Right here felt, it's this little piece right here, this little, doesn't want to focus, but yeah. Just another that holds it down. So when I noticed, I was just, I was pushing this down. And then I found, you know, your freaking box of screws and mysteries. The box of Narnia right here. I found the, I think these are gonna be the perfect ones for the screws right here in the bottom. Let's see where you are. Am I right here? Okay. Oh my God, I'm a fucking genius, dude. Yeah, perfect. Number size eight screws. So yeah, see, this is why there it is, and there's the one on the other side. Let me just screw those things, those bait. Oh, there it is. But yeah, see, this is fucking Narnia box right here. So yeah, let me let me tie those things up. Hey guys, <clears throat> so I'm gonna get a nice tight. Dude, I got a perfect the other one. And then this is the one I'm gonna use for right here. So yeah, like this is how I maintain my bikes, man. You're gonna keep them. Oh, perfect size, dude. A fucking goat, man. You gotta pump yourself up, guys. Yeah, shout out to all you guys doing your own shit on your mini bikes, man. Shout out to you riders, peace. Why did I say peace? I don't even know. But yeah, shout out to you riders, man, doing your own thing right here. So yeah, let me tie these up. I might put two of them. Uh, the, ooh. Might put two of them in there just because I saw that it, it felt. I don't want to have problems later. That one's give them nice... I don't got Loctite, I normally use Loctite, the blue one. Some of these little nuts have like this little Loctite type thing in there, helps it stay. But yeah, I normally use Loctite like for right here, for these screws. But yeah, everything that needs to be nice and snug, Loctite, 
everything that needs to be greased up like this i i grease up to the inside of the wheel the i forgot what this piece is called the axle oh uh, yeah i grease all everything that needs to be greased up my chain's fucking nasty obviously you guys know that the little ride i did but about a grease up maybe not my inside wheels grease on my wheels take this off for right now and take it off honestly if you want to make your bike reliable ride out and stuff the, the, the sprocket size doesn't matter you know what i'll say it does matter is um don't don't have your chain too like too tight man that's that's like that's bad you know because you could hit a jump or something and it would just snap your chain like this might be a little too loose but it's perfect for me it's a little too loose at the same time that's why i haven't hit the throttle fast because if i do i feel like it since it's a little loose it'll like whip it out of the auto place so i start slow i start slow and then it just you know it just starts doing its thing but yeah a little tighter than this for sure chain tensioner always i always have my chain tensioner uh you could uh, you could use a skateboard wheel whatever this one is not spinning this way it's a little torn off it should be spinning with the chain itself i'm gonna grease it up oil it up probably with the mud and shit it just um Got it Who's stuck. This, uh, we're kind of already loosening it up, but I guess they want to show you guys it. So, this little majiggy. And then the other side, but I know a lot of people like to see this. So, look. Grab it one side, it's already loose. And, and bam, that's it. Bam, bam. Got loose. Back and forth, that's it. I'm going to leave it there. I could probably take off the chain. Probably take it from the back. Let me do this real quick. Yeah, if you're a new rider and wondering what type of tools you kind of need, this is kind of pretty much all you need all the time. Nice pair of keys. Nice pair of socks. I got the chain off. I'm gonna just remove the the sprocket now. I got this my drill right here. Always, I mean, it's good to have power tools. You don't gotta specifically have this brand but longer than you know it's a good drill so this is the one right here this right here uh, so so yeah like uh if you don't have this is this you kind of do need a drill to remove your clutch or else there's like a way you could hold your clutch i recommend just getting a drill but yeah because if, if you if you hit this this whole thing could spin when you're trying to do it with your hand or just put on the chain and loosen it up. And then don't let the wheel spin when you're doing this. Oh, I forgot to also mention my spark plug. I do have a different spark plug. I have the... It's called a champion. But yeah, that's my spark plug right there. It is. Little quick tip if you were in the video. There you go, man. See, now you know something else that the other guys didn't. Yeah, so now... Reverse. And then we wham bam thank you ma'am don't lose your stuff so i had this is the amount of space i leave oh, yeah i leave some space well shit forgot to show that when the screw was in there but leave a little bit of space where your clutch could go back and forth that way like um yeah because all the bouncing and stuff you know you don't want it too stiff so even this is all dirty i'm gonna even clean this out grease it up Where's the little key? The key's in there. Grease that up in there. I have my little... Where is it? Okay. I have this. I haven't... I don't think I ever opened this one up. Oh, this... Oh, this mark... Max torques are different. I don't... Oh, yeah. Here's the thing. Here. Let me... So, let me just get it in there. Should I got my tripod. Boom. Oh. Oh, yeah. I got it. Watch out, don't let this go flying off. Now we could just take it apart. Hold on, it's hard to one hand. All right, so I got the clutch apart. It was just a little, like, dirty, so I had to pull it apart. Once I got the pin out, once I got that little pin out. So now what I'm gonna do is, yeah, this is what a clutch looks like when it's taken apart, guys. There you could count how many teeth yourself. Oh yeah, this is a, could find any good grease i guess but this is high temp and stuff so here i kind of i want to say i do this every like three months depending on the 
depending how much I rode the, the bike and stuff. So yeah, grease it in here. No, we grease it in here. Sorry, grinders, and hit my tripod. Boom. Oh yeah, grease it a little bit inside still. And then I'm still gonna bathe this in oil because I want oil getting in those little strings and those little holes. So I'm gonna put this part in oil right now. This one's good. I'm gonna grease it up a little bit more. Then I'm gonna clean that little part and grease it up too. So yeah, this is this is what I do to have my bike. This is what I do to maintenance my bikes. Have them nice I'm running, 60 miles with no problems coming back and forth and then not just that man i'll be going to trails and you're gonna see in my videos i'll be hitting trails doing all types of things i don't ride like a little bitch oh fuck i lost the little key right here oh damn here right let me come back for that oh yeah if you're a badass you could still take this more apart just mess with it and make it more strong and powerful but I'm not a badass like that not yet This is what I'm using. Show that how to grease up. That's how I grease up my baby. But uh, yeah, that's what I use. I always try to buy like the big cannons for the mini for my truck. So yeah, that's what I use. Oil change. I just had this. Just I don't even know. Just it was just in the back. So I'm just gonna use that for greasing up this. But you could use any type of oil to grease up your clutch soak it and then just let it dry because yeah it's, once you put it on obviously you know you're gonna get bathed in oil so yeah the riders let me just put everything back and this is this is what it looks like when i'm maintaining doing maintenance on my mini bike but what do you what do you guys what do you guys use what do you guys be doing to maintain your bike let me know if this is helping you out hey now we insert some oil like i said this is what i use i'm cheap i'm sure um i mean it's, fuck it, it's oil you know as long as it's clean but i'm sure like good oil i feel like thinner oil the 1040 is better that's what i got that's what i'm gonna use i'm sure you're that professional you know oh I need this specific fucking oil because it needs to run at a certain fucking speed. And then you got people in India fucking building shit from like dog poop and shit. Oh my god. All the way up, boys. That liquid gold, dice Guni. Liquid gold. Drink up, baby. Drink up. You earned it. I honestly don't know how much it takes. I never measured it. I just measure it with my with my heart and eyes. <laughs> oh fuck, I think that's good. I think it's overflowing already. Alright, mini bike riders. So it's later in the day. I got a little busy. So yeah, as you guys were seeing the last thing I was doing, I was putting uh oil in here. I got it all the way to the top. I usually put it all the way up here. Even when it's pouring out, I just push it in there. Like I said, I would just, the oil, the excessive oil would just uh, spill through here, down that hose. I greased up uh, my clutch, as you guys seen, focus baby. Uh, put my chain back on, the tensioner. I also ended up taking it off and greased it up. Chain, I forgot to grease it up. Clutch, and then other things that just make my mini bike reliable. I just gotta show you guys really quick. It's also, it's a must, man. If you're using the 212, this is a must. It's the hydraulic brakes right here. Yeah, it's the hydraulic brakes. Uh, these I got from Amazon. I put the, I'll try to put the link in the description or something. But yeah, as you guys can see, I just attached it directly to the frame. I didn't weld anything. And then I just add like a little piece of metal for my uh, brakes just to adjust it. I've been having them this setup for two years. Not a problem, it stopped me right away. Like I said, Amazon for like 35 bucks. So yeah, that's a for sure you need thing when you're riding, especially at that speed. 
Uh, oh, yeah, filter. Oh, I always have a filter, man. So, you know, I'm over here getting crazy with the dirt and stuff. You don't want anything running in your motor. A lot of people say you get a little bit of more speed. I mean, maybe a tiny bit, but I always just, I love to keep filters on all my bikes. And then, sorry if it feels like I'm doing this quick. It's just I feel like the video is a little long already. So, and then the, the chain, the number chain that I have at the moment is uh, 35. I do want to switch up to like a, a 40 or a 420 chain in the future. But as at the moment, it's been doing its job. It's doing the thing, you know. Like I said, it just takes me, takes me where I need to go. So, yeah, guys, this is, this is what I do to make my mini bike reliable, to make it just run perfect, smooth. Make me take from point A to point B and from point B to back to point A. So yeah, riders, so let me know if this video helped you guys out. You know, any tips, tips and tricks. Yeah, this is what I do, this is what I use for my mini bike. Hi everybody, thanks for subscribing, thanks for stopping by, for the views, for the support, the likes. I really do appreciate all that love, man. Fucking awesome of you guys, so peace out, right? Peace out, riders, have a good one, ride safe. Wear a fucking helmet, man. All right, peace out.